In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, Jenny and I are going to do four great summer trash to treasure projects. From these wonderful beehives all the way to this summer garden angel. Oh yeah, you guys, we're getting ready for the summer and you can too. So won't you join us for some great DIY summer projects and maybe a few meltdowns. Oh yeah, you guys, you know it's going to be a good time. So if you're ready, let's dive into this week's episode. Before we get started, for those of you who are new here to Flea Market Rescue, I just want to welcome you. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do thrift store makeovers with my funny pal, Jenny. Uh -huh. I also love taking you along as we go to the thrift stores, the garage sales, and the flea markets. So if you're up for some fun DIY projects, and great shopping sprees. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody. We are here. We're back for more fun. That's right. So um, today we have a lot of great projects. They're going to be more like summer type projects because you know it's coming. Come on, bring on the heat. I know, right? Mm -hmm. So today we are going to redo this old box that's been laying around here. I've been meaning to redo it. Today is going to be the day. I'm excited about freeing up some space here. <laughs> I know. She's trying to organize, you know, everything. And yeah, I'm not so much an organizer. We all have our gifts. <laughs> and we organization gifts. is not mine. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to take this rope. And we are going to make a beehive with it because, again, that's going to be a cute little summer kind of project. Like a bouffant beehive? The little oh. flip or no? Uh, no. Probably not. Like <laughs> no, bee definitely beehive. not. No, be a real beehive. A real bee. Beehive. Well, it's not really real, but. Oh, beehive. <laughs> oh, you guys knew that one was coming. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty more where that came from. All very natural. <laughs> then, you guys. Believe it or not, out of these fun-looking pants, Jenny, I think you would look great in these. They look like something my cousins wear, wore to my parents' wedding in 1974. I know. I, I, these look like 70 pants. With a big old bow tie. <laughs> Timmy, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Timmy, I want to see the pictures. <laughs> Billy, come on. Give it up. Give it up. Okay, so we have these pants, and then I picked up this sweater. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what I dropped, but it's okay. It's okay. It's the green. Oh, it's the green. And then I had some scraps of, like, just green kind of wool. We're going to make strawberries and put it in this. How cute is that going to be? I can't wait. We have some really good projects today, I'm telling you. Excited. Yeah. And then for our really big project all right, you ready for this, you guys? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Get ready. We are going to make a garden angel. That's right. I picked up this family plaque. We're going to rip that off. This is going to be the hat. Or not the hat. Uh, I looked at her. <laughs> She's wearing the hat. It's going to be the hat for the angel. Mm -hmm. Right. But, do you see that? Head hat. <laughs> it does look really good on you, though. I look good in all hats, just she, so you guys know. <laughs> she does. She does. I've been told. <laughs> and thank you to the Gills because uh, they what? gave up their family sign. They sure did. It was probably in front of like a cottage or something, huh? We're going to deconstruct the family and build an angel. That's right. I have an old piece of wood here. We're going to put that on there for wings. Mm-hmm. I cut out some arms on my scroll saw. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, so you guys, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started on these fabulous projects. Buckle up for another episode of Flea, Flea Market, Market Rescue. Rescue. Woo! All right, so <laughs> we're going to make beehives today. Now, I bought this a while back at Joann's. It was $20, but half off because I had the coupon. But I'm going to tell you something. You don't need to buy this because at the dollar store, they have these for a dollar. You literally could use these. You don't need this. All right. Now, all you need is like some kind of form that, you know, we have these pots. They're like $3 from Target, right? Target. Sure. We'll go with Target. Yeah. So we're just going to use these here. 
and we're literally gonna just kind of wrap our jute around and glue it as we go. And once we get to the top, we're gonna make a little loop and then we'll finish with our, our jute, our rope, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> the stuff. I'm making all this noise over here. Yeah, so you can use like a, let's see, a pot, right? Some kind of pot or, I mean, just find something. A Tupperware container. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be good yeah. too. All right, so we have glue guns here. Okay. And just start looping it around. Okay. And um, we'll glue it. So is there a different end for me to start from or no? Um, yeah, that's a good. It's <laughs> a good point. Good point. Maybe just cut some. Just, just cut like, I don't know. Just, just cut. How about I use the rope stuff? Oh, okay. okay. Deal. Deal. All right. Are we doing the loop on top first or at the end? Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you do it before you get up to the top with this. Okay. So I'm just gluing some of that on the end here. I almost glued it to the pot. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You want to glue it onto your jute. We're only using this as a form. So as you can see, I glued it right here and I'm just going to keep working my way up and you're gonna glue it in place every so often. I have to give props to that lady who gave us the extension cord. She noticed that we needed one. <laughs> she brought it to our open house. Thank you. So it was like for your glue gun, so we yeah. didn't have to keep unplugging the we, glue gun to use we it. We literally <laughs> had to unplug it because the cord wasn't <laughs> long enough. Surprise, surprise, right guys? I don't like the texture of these. Pots. Yeah, oh yeah, because they're so dry. Yeah, they're very dry. My sister would hate it. She hates burlap and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, it's like touching a chalkboard. Kind yeah. Of. Ugh. Yeah. I like, um, I'm not a fan either. And I have like this weird thing and I've met one other person that feels the same way, but I feel like everybody's got like one weird thing about them. I do not like to touch paper with dry hands. Oh, I can understand that. Yeah. And so this is a similar sensation. <laughs> You're really enjoying this project then, huh? I'm just trying to like avoid touching the pot. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep gluing and making your way up until you reach the top. Wait, what were we saying? It's not, it's a, not competition. a competition. Yeah, it's really not a competition. We don't need to do that, right? No. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> she figured me out. Uh, yeah. No. Not true. Not true. Not true at all. It seems like when you get up closer, you want to glue it down a little bit more. Oh. Because, yeah, as, a, as it's bending, it, you know, you want to keep it in place, so... Now I'm gonna make my loop because I'm getting pretty close here. Can I use yeah. some scissors? Scissors. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna make a loop here. And glue two pieces together. Once I get up there, and we'll go from there.
Now I'm just putting glue on both sides. I'm gonna press it against one of the pieces of jute. And we're gonna wedge it in there. I'm gonna cut it right here. And then I'm gonna tuck it in. I may need those scissors just to tuck it in. All right, so we have. Watch that closer. <laughs> <laughs> So we made this, we just need to get the pot out of here now. But I think it looks super cute, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. This is from the pot, this isn't, you know. All right, now the real trick is gonna see if I can get it out of there or did I glue it to so it? So you did the loop. I made the loop and I just literally glued these two pieces together. Okay. Like that. And then once you get up to the top, that's when you're gonna Start going around it. Yeah, like, going like around this. it. This exactly. Okay. But gotcha. just glue those two pieces together and okay. can do. Yes, you can. Now, like I said, I need to kind of. Let me tell you guys, the struggle was real. I was just like trying to pull that apart, and if you have any hot glue on your pot or your form, whatever you're using, it's gonna take a little while to pry it away. Product is worth it, because they're really cute. They are cute, right? Yes, you got this, Kelly. Thank you. I'm gonna maybe move back from the elbow <laughs> just a little bit, just in case it's you get this all of a sudden. <laughs> and finally, it just let loose. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the, the pot looks like a bald man oh. with three hairs left. <laughs> Literally, you know what? We oh. we should, probably should have just left the pot on there. Who cares? But oh well. <laughs> now it wasn't until I tried to pick this up by the loop that I realized that some of the rows were not glued down all the way. That's why I put that little note saying to glue as you go, because if you do it every so often, you're gonna have to go back in and glue those rows back onto each other. I'm just trying to warn you guys so that I can save you an extra step. So Jenny ended up finishing hers and she ended up finding that she was having the same problem that I did. Okay, so what are you gonna... doing? You use a stick? Yeah. Just kind of like what you do with a cake, you know, before you flip it out. <laughs> and I think I'm still going to have to patch a little bit, but I think this guy will come. <gasps> You're getting come on, Bubba. Yay. Oh, it looks like you need to glue a little bit on the top. Sure, but sure. It's, pretty it's got good. like a Muppet mouth kind of thing. A Muppet mouth. <laughs> here and there oh so good that's great Jenny or a mummy mouth <laughs> one of the two right mm -hmm. yeah so if you guys see any spots that need to be like kind of glued together just glue them after we got everything glued into place it was time to paint Hey everybody, I'm waiting for you. Yep. Hey everybody, um, we are now going to paint our beehives and we are using uh, Ceramicote uh, Empire Gold. Mm -hmm. Now we are gonna paint a black kind of circle too, but we're just gonna get this going here. We're gonna get going. We're gonna use a little water cause water kind of like spreads things a lot easier and make it make it coat better yeah so I'm gonna try to dip my brush in here and then um, remember how I use the several different pieces from the dollar store I can tell where the one connection is so I'm gonna strategically like make my little door there so that I can put the trim over that top really of it. is a good idea I'm gonna leave like this area here that's gonna be painted black So I think I am pretty good with this. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna paint my, um, the border that's gonna go around the black. I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, okay. That way I just literally glue it. 
Okay, I'm gonna use some black while, while we're doing it. Why don't, you know, I'm just gonna do that. Take a little black and I'm gonna make, I'll try to do it so you guys can see. A little doorway here. So I'm gonna let mine dry and then I'm gonna put that little border all the way around. Jenny, you could just use that brush when you're done. Sure, I'm ready. That looks cute. Super Thank cute. you. Yeah. I love it. Okay, you guys. Cute, right? Very nice. Boom. All right, so let, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and do our little border there. After letting these dry, we took the little border that was going to go around the door and trimmed it to size. So you're cutting that now? Mm-hmm. All righty. I'm going to do mine too. I'll give you the scissors. How about that? Thank you. You're welcome. So I guess I should probably measure. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Then, using a little hot glue, we glued it in place. I gotta put mine on too. I need just a little dab of healer. A little dab will do ya. Now, if these weren't cute enough, we decided to add a bee to them. Guys, I found one of these really adorable bees that Kelly's mom picked up a whole bunch of, except it's missing the wings. So I said, hey, I got some tea-stained dictionary paper right there. Why not Jenny. make some wings out of it? Jenny. <laughs> I know. I've got some good ideas today, guys. I'm oh. like, I am on fire. She is on fire, really. I'm on fire today. <laughs> Wow, I, I love that idea. I mean, look at put the bee on top of it to show them. That that's great. So cute. That's great. Now, do I rip or cut, or what do you I think? I would cut. I would cut them out. Oh, yeah. such a good idea, Jenny. All right. So with a pair of scissors, Jenny cut the wings out. Are you gonna try sliding in there? Oh, yeah. That's cute. Do I gotta trim them up a bit. I gotta trim them up a bit. But yeah, he's gonna be adorable. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is happening. Oh, I love it, Jenny. I love it. Put it this on there. This is happening in a big way. Hot glue that sucker right on there. What's a hive without a bee? It's precious. Oh my gosh, Jenny, that is so stinking cute. Is that the cute. cutest thing ever? I love it. Love, love, love Totes that. adorbs. Thanks. <sighs> Thanks for the bumblebee, Jojo. Yeah, that worked out great for us. Mm -hmm. Love it. You love them. I love them. They are so adorable. Yep. Love, love, love this project. And really, you guys, they're so easy to make. When I was at the thrift store, I came across this sign. It was only $6.99, and I knew we could do something great with it. So flash forward to today. All right, Jenny. So we need to cut the ropes off here because we are going to sand the gills right off of there. <laughs> you could have used those uh, in our previous trash to treasure, couldn't you? You can always use a good pair of scissors or shears. Forged in the USA. So you know it's good. <laughs> oh. I think <laughs> this is good to know, people. You can't have too many, in my opinion. I mean, unless you got no room for anything else because of all the shears you have. <laughs> but. <laughs> but shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you probably could have just unwrapped. We could have used that. Never mind. <laughs> Just I mean, kind of, totally. I'm just unwinding it. I thought of doing that, and then I thought, am I just being like over collective? Okay, no, Ooh, there's a no. Knot. I'm, I'm over collective. I, yeah, cut that. In. I'm gonna cut it right here so I can get the most rope for my buck. For Kelly's buck. You never know when you need rope. Like for making beehives. I'm bringing it right down, baby, right. Okay. All right, let's do this. We're going to sand the straight off of there. You got this bad boy for six ninety nine, eh? Yeah. Unless he was half off. No. no I wish he was, but he's, 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 he's a choice piece of wood for $7. Yeah. We'll take oh, him. Do you notice what Jenny's wearing? That's right. Kathy made us these awesome aprons. 
You guys remember Kathy. She was from the UK. She came to visit us. And thank you, Kathy, from the UK. Yeah, thank you. So I have mine too. I'll show you. You'll get to see mine in a minute. But she said that she made that for the wagon. You know that wagon we take to Springfield? How's I that? really like this wagon because of these fat tires. The other wagon that you will see later is gray, and you have to do this. Springfield that, wagon. I know, that's so cool. That's us. All Got our my little... flowers, our paints, a ruler. Mm -hmm. Could also double as a paint stick. <laughs> it sure could, couldn't it? Especially in this room. Yes. A pitcher. You know, we got to have pitchers. Rooster. Hello, little house. It's like she knows you or something. It's so cute. They're perfect. I love them. I know. It's got my name right there. What? Keep your hands off it, Kelly. Don't you worry. I have my own. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own. Woo! <sighs> Jenny, are those your safety glasses? Yes, they are. I'm suiting up. I've got that. And I've... We're out of masks, so... <laughs> surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Here we go. <laughs> Jenny. All right. Good night, Gillis. Gills. I keep saying Gillis. Okay. Button on this. What's thing the matter? Too. You can't see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm going to tell you what, Jenny. After sanding and sanding and sanding, <laughs> they're, they're going nowhere. They're going nowhere. You're going to stay right here with us, Gills family. <laughs> but we're going to snuggle you up in a coat of paint. <laughs> It just can't be denied. Yep. I think that um, we're just going to call it quits on uh, trying to get their name off because, you know, yeah. we gave it a good try. And, and this is super smooth, too. But oh yeah, that paint just soaked right into that wood. And that's it. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's do it. All right. So... As you can see, we weren't able to get this off completely, but that's all right. If we have to put an extra coat of paint, that's what we're going to do. We are um, going to use Americana Golden Straw. 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 Not hay. Not hay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get a party yep. on. Let's go ahead and paint this. And then we have to take this off. We're going to have to take this off and then paint the face too. Oh, and we have to do the arms, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Get it. Let's I'm ready, it. baby. Let's do this. Oh, oh bye. I love it. Bye, bye Gills. <laughs> We're going to need a lot more paint. Yeah, we are. And a little dab will not do you today. <laughs> <laughs> Soaking it up. I have to say, this is a really pretty and happy color that we're painting this. And before we knew it, we had the whole entire thing covered. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and uh, we'll go on to another step. See you there. Now, when I was at home, I had these sticks in the garage. I think they're like one by twos. You can pick them up at Home Depot. I literally drew a half moon on them to serve as the arms and I cut them out on the scroll saw. I do offer a scroll saw class if you guys are interested in woodworking. You can make a lot of great things and you can find that class on our website under the class page. All right, Jenny, we have some arms here we need to paint. So this part will be like a flesh tone, but let's go, you know, here, I'll just do this Put right the here. Line. There we go. Nice. And then we'll paint a stick each. So this is what was just going through my mind. When we did the carrots last time, yeah, I feel like you came with four bottles of orange. Now we're painting a whole, whole big, huge thing. It doesn't make sense, I know. <laughs> and we're putting it to the test. All right. We got this. One for each of us? Yeah. You do Should we high five? Too. Boop, boop. I didn't paint her hand, but a hand was painted. It was mine. 
Oh, have you met me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it. Well, good thing Kathy got you the apron. Yeah. No doubt. For sure. Next thank, time, Kathy. Thank you again, Kathy. That was really sweet. And it was so nice to meet you. And I'm so glad you came here. Thank you. Me too. I if know. you're looking for gift options next time you come to the States, <laughs> gift the couch could use an apron too. <laughs> Hey, remember that plastic that they used to put on the furniture? Oh, yes. Back in the day? Aunt Marge. <laughs> Aunt Marge, huh? Yes. Aunt Marge is all over this because, you know, I buy the same kind of candy she used to have in her candy dish for the store, too. Can I say that is so true? If these aren't Aunt Marge candies, I don't know what is. I'm, that's Aunt just Marge. what Aunt Marge had the butterscotch and the strawberries in that pretty dish on the table and surrounded by the plastic furniture and not just plastic furniture she had like the plastic runners and the carpets too mm -hmm. wow <laughs> everything protected now this is going to be the head of the angel and so we're going to start out by pulling the family sign off of here wow oh, that was pretty yeah. easy <laughs> yes it was but you know it's magnets. It's the exact same family sign we have on that no, can by the that register. Was magnets? Yeah, but it was glued. Oh. They glued a magnet to Do it. Do we need like maybe a screwdriver to pop those out? Can they be popped out? Yeah, I will take a screwdriver. Well, oh, the magnets don't need to be popped out, but like that oh. might help me kind of scratch this stuff off a little. Alrighty. Just be careful. Remember what happened with the the staple the tray. tray. Yeah, the tray. Now that Jenny is bleeding, guess what we found? Show them. A staple remover. Oh, what are you laughing at, huh? I just was saying, like, it's, you know, we always give me the wrong thing first. <laughs> oh, it's what? And then after blood, we figure it out. <laughs> You'll be happy to know that Jenny did not get cut this time. So after scraping off that magnet glue, she took a piece of sandpaper and sanded it smooth. And there we go. All right, so we are going to use this um, rosy beige, and uh, I think it's going to look cute. So cute. So using that rosy beige paint, Jenny went on to paint the head. With the blooming event coming up, I really want to have some garden angels because I think those will be really good sellers. Don't you think? Garden angels. The way you said it, I was like, oh, I get it now. Yeah. Sounds like garden a uh, guardian. But it's garden. Aww. Yeah, garden angels. They're looking over your flowers. Now, if you guys didn't know, yes, we are having a blooming event on May 18th. We're going to have a lot of fresh rosemary and lavender and like garden type stuff. So if you can make it, that'd be great. Also, here's a list of the other events we have coming up so that you can plan for it. We have Christmas in July on July 20th. We have the fall spectacular event on September 28th and the winter and Christmas event on November 9th. So I hope that you can make one of these events, if not all of them, and we hope to see you there. And I'd just like to say, you guys, if you don't have a sign like that, like the gills, you could also use um, like a shutter. I see that a lot. Mm -hmm. You can use a shutter instead. You know, you can pick those up. I've seen those at the thrift store. So pick up a shutter, make the little arms, get an oval plaque. You can actually get these plaques at Joann's and probably Michael's too. So if you can't find something like this family sign, you could always just pick one up at Joann's or Michael's. Maybe even Walmart. Yeah. Yeah, they Possibly. have like a little crafty section. Mm -hmm. um, but I shudder to think how cute it would be with shutters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be really cute. The only thing is, shutters take you a while to paint. I've painted. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. You gotta get in all the little louvers, you know? Yeah. I would water down your paint if you're gonna do that. It'll just make it go on so much easier. Oh, and we can't forget the hands. You're going to definitely want to do the hands and that peachy rose. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so cute. It is. So stinking cute. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. We'll let that dry and finish it up. All right, you guys. Now that all this is dry, I really want to distress it, and I want to put a little, like, dark wax on it. It'll just give it a lot of character, okay? So let me do that right now. So you're just going to want to rough that up with the sander, especially around the edges. 
and voila, there you go. All right, you guys, now that I have this all sanded, we're gonna take a little of this dark wax and we're gonna wax it up because it's just gonna really make it, you know, everything stand out even more. You don't want things looking really crisp, you know, like it's freshly painted. You want it distressed. It just gives it a nice look. We're going to also do that on the head as well. So cute. Right? And last but not least, the arms. Now you see how this is just so freshly painted. You don't want that. You want it to have some character. So sand that stuff up and really wax it up. You can also use stain as well too. I've used stain in the past on my woodcraft and that works really good too. She looks like she's been in the garden now, you know? Right. That's the kind of look you want to go for. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's all there is to it, you guys. Now that I've distressed this, I am going to put some holes through her hands because we're going to wire in like a basket or um, a bucket. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. All right, you guys. So I'm now down on the floor here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our head about right there. And how we're going to attach this is we're going to flip this over. I have two screws. We're going to screw the head into the back here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Go. All right, so I have this flipped over. As you can see, the head is in the front. I've left a little bit of a lip to it, and we're just gonna screw these into the head through the back. Oh, I think I got this backwards. Who needs the grippy gloves now? <laughs> yeah, point, point well taken. So I'm just drilling these screws into the back, but before I screw them all the way down, I wanna make sure the head's in place. Also, it's always good to pre-drill your holes because otherwise you can crack the wood. I actually did that because I was being lazy. Okay, let me just see what this looks like here. Oh, so cute. Sweet. So for the head, we definitely had to screw this in, but with the hands, we're just gonna kind of glue it and then also brad nail it in. Fabulous. Now, before we glue these on and, you know, put the brad nails in it, I want to add some wire so that we can attach something right here in front. So I'm going to get a nice long piece of wire so that, you know, we can always clip it later. And then we drilled those holes. We're going to stick that through. I probably should get my glasses on so I can actually see it. That's good. Idea. Yeah. So we're going to put that in there and we'll twist. You're gonna wanna do that on both hands. All right, you guys, so we already have the wire on this one. We just need to add one to the other one and then we'll get these arms on and she is like almost done. So I'm gonna get the glue out, we'll get the nail gun ready and we'll come back and put, attach the arms. All right, you guys, we are gonna use some Gorilla Glue here. Um, of course, the tip is, you know, all dried up, so <laughs> I'm just gonna dip the brush in here and we're gonna put it on the back of the arms and then we're gonna use the nailer, the brad nailer. So just take that glue and lather that on there. Then you're just gonna place that on there at the shoulder. And I'm gonna get my nail gun and I'm gonna nail that right at the shoulder and down. And if you notice, I've left the hand on the outside here. I didn't, I'm not gonna staple it to the actual board. We're gonna keep it out a little. That way we can work with whatever object we wanna put in her hands. Okay, so I put like four nails in it. That's good. Let's go ahead and do the other arm too. And you're gonna repeat the same process on the opposite arm. 
So up in this corner here, we have a little bird's nest going. And as you can see, they have been like just breaking up my grapevine. So you know what? We're just gonna take a little piece of grapevine from this and add it to our angel, our garden angel. So I have that grapevine that we got from outside. We took it from the little birdies there because they've been breaking up my grapevine. And we're gonna staple this in, not staple, but nail this in place here. All right, now it's Jenny's turn on the floor. <laughs> so we have this bucket here. I wanna show them, yep. And Jenny is gonna wire it into her hands. Do you need me to hold it, Jenny? Um, I might be all right. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Okay. That's cute. We just need We it. need something to go in it though too. Oh, I have an idea. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect, and then we'll just cut away the excess wire. But you really could put anything. You could put like a watering can, um, just anything gardeny you could put in there. <gasps> oh, Jenny, love, love, love that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. She's gonna be so stinking cute. Now, only one more thing we need to do. I want, I have this like, I don't know what you call it. A spike it's or like a nail? It's like a spike. A primitive nail. A primitive nail. We're gonna put that as a nose. We're not even gonna do any eyes because it's gonna be like, you know, you know how the Amish have no face on there, but I do want a nose. So we'll do that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I almost forgot the wings. Jenny's like, well, what about the wings? Heck yeah, look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little wood glue. We're gonna put it behind her like so, and then I'll nail that. Oh Isn't my that adorable? gosh, look at how cute I love, she is. I love, love, love her. I adore her. All right, so let me put the wood glue on real quick. So you're just gonna lather on that glue and use your brad nailer to attach it. She sure is looking good, isn't she, you guys? Okay, so I found out this like garland is like connected to like an elongating portion. So I'm just gonna take those apart and I'm gonna a little finesse the hat. You know, I do love some, some greenery and stuff and I'm just gonna kinda I love a it. character there. Yeah. At, just adding a little, a little bit more here from the green. Right, because she has a With smaller the head and the green kind of just balances out her body if you ask yeah. me. Oh, there I go with this silly glue stick again. Okay, let's see if it'll do the. You guys, you're probably noticing my calendar still from uh, December. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge. Jenny is really good at arranging things. She's always like arranging little flowers for me and vases and they sell. <laughs> you got a knack for it, Jenny. Yeah, I like it. Did you drop it again? <laughs> hey, where's Jenny's grip tight gloves? <laughs> Still waiting for grip tight to contact me. <laughs> and offer me a product that'll change my life. <laughs> you hear that grip tight? It's your opportunity. That's right. If anybody needs them, it's this girl here. Hello. My hands are slippery than a slip and slide. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, love I know that. she is so cute, Jenny. Thank you to the gills. Yes. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without you. No. I'm just going to put a little bit on this end. And... <laughs> Jenny dropped the glue stick again. <laughs> Hey, without it. Hey, it could be worse. It could be a paintbrush <laughs> with paint on it. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> and we know that that's possible as well. And no sooner did I say that, 
a fate worse than paint occurred. Oh, oh. <gasps> You're dripping hot glue on the couch. I saw glue dropping somewhere. Yeah, it's a string. Okay. You guys, I was having a complete meltdown. Or maybe she was. Oh, no! Hot glue on the couch! We're all gonna melt! <laughs> this is the end! <laughs> String, that's all. String, not a globule. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. That looks so cute, Jenny. And I've calmed down. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm breathing in a paper bag right now and all over here. <laughs> <laughs> and there you You know, did you guys notice she was more concerned about the glue on the couch than on my finger? <laughs> you guys noticed that, right? <laughs> See what I'm putting up with over here? Oh. <laughs> Jenny, that's some good stuff there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I was inspired by you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's get a nose on this chick. All right. Let's do it. There Jenny still has me laughing over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway, I have this. What do you call it, Jenny? I called it a primitive nail. There you go, primitive nail. It's a I pseudo have, rose head. I have some um, rusty wire, and we're just gonna kinda wrap that around to give it that really rustic kinda look. Mm. This is gonna be her nose. I better put my glasses on so I can see what I'm wrapping. Yeah, and let me, I'm gonna come in close so they okay. can see what you're doing too. So I'm literally just wrapping this around, no rhyme or reason. So I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna clip the rest and then we're gonna add that a nose for her stop it we'll use a little epoxy and just kind of epoxy that so i mixed up a little epoxy and i glued that in place and voila we were finished with our garden angel and can i tell you guys i'm so proud of her because she turned out amazing and i've decided that i'm going to make her one of the prizes of the blooming event so if you come you could have a chance to win her Again, the blooming event is going to be on May 18th, which is a Saturday, so we hope to see you there. All hello, right, friends. Yeah, hello. We are going to do this box here. Like I said, we've had this here for how long, Jenny? Too long, huh? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so today <laughs> is the day we're going to do it. I have this Annie Sloan paint. I've always wanted to use that too. I've had it for a while. You'll be glad to know that it is full. It's brand new, but it probably will need some stirring. I think I've actually been in this already, so. Oh, you have? Yeah, look oh. at there's like some greenish around the edge. What did you paint with that? I don't remember. It's probably like some, look at, oh, good Lord. I see a big what bubble. Is, is that a bubble? Oh, thank God. Oh, it's actually not too bad. You it really is separated, but it has been mixed at one point. It could be worse, guys. It <laughs> really could. I think we all know that. It could be dried up, <laughs> right? Um, okay, done. It could be like oh, just clay. Add a little water. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a pretty, happy color, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's one of my faves. I love this kind of green. Just makes me happy. All right. We're we'll just half and half here. And just keep rotating the same way. All right, here we go. All right, let's do it. I think I picked this up at the flea market for like five bucks or something. <laughs> nice. It is. It's like a nice old box. Has a lot of character to it. I thought you could put like your garden tools in there. Oh yeah. You know, and then you could even um, put your seed packets on the side, tools. Oh, you got me. Did I get you? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't need any help painting myself. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> I did what thanks for offering. <laughs> you ready to turn? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't need any help. I don't. <laughs> do you never uh, do you remember when we um did the paint inlays? Yes. 
we are gonna do that again on that. Really? Yes. Oh, those were fun. Yeah. And they turn out so beautiful. Yeah, so I thought we'd do that on the front of the box. It'll be perfect, right? Yes, and that box, we actually sold it at our last event to one of my favorite people. Hello, Jill. Thank you for buying the box. Yes, thank you. And you know what I liked what you did? Mm -hmm. She lined the pa the inside with the paper, decorative paper, and it looks so beautiful. The stuff that we use like on um, the, the rolling pins. You yep. guys remember the rolling pins? So yeah, cute. so she lined the whole box and it just was so sweet. Like you open the drawer and you see that cute little print in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's still like clipped into an easel and everything, just so cute. Yeah. So Jenny and I are just gonna finish this up here. It's probably gonna need a second coat. It is gonna need a second It'll coat. It'll need a second coat. There's no guessing. <laughs> no guessing. No. <laughs> no. This thing is just sucking it up. But so we're okay. gonna finish this up and we'll get another coat on it and yeah. holla back at ya. All right, you guys, this is dry. We are gonna put a second coat on this, and then after that, we are gonna paint the hardware. So, let's do this, Jenny. Okay. Dump a little on there. After the paint had dried, I had Jenny sand it up a little, just to give it a little bit of a distressed look. All right, so Jenny and I are gonna decide what paint inlay we're gonna use on our box. It's so pretty. I love that color. Oh, so there's all the options right there too. Oh, these are awesome. Yeah, oh my gosh, how cute would artichokes look on there? Yeah, yeah. We, could, we could maybe even cut that out and put one of them over here. Yeah, we might be better off going this way. Okay. Because this one we can actually cut out and this yeah, one is, and then will put be that more tricky. Over there. Yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Oh all my right. God, let's do it. All right, perfect. All right, so Jenny is just gonna yeah. <laughs> Use the scissors to cut them out. All right, so we are going to use the artichoke here. I'm going to take these, put them off to the side, because what we need to do is get this nice and wet with some paint. I'm going to try not to go over the part that Jenny works so hard on, distressing. <laughs> <laughs> You want to get this nice and wet. And I'm going to overlap this here. So I am going to put a little paint right here on the side. You might want to do like a little here too. I don't know. Okay. I think that should be good. All right. So I'm going to just place these here. I don't know if you have enough paint under. Do you think like, so? Okay. I don't know. Well, it doesn't like feel wet at all here. Okay. Sorry. No, I rather no now than set think. me up for success. <laughs> set me up for success. That's, that's my only goal here, not judgment. Oh, that's like it was made for that. I know it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. And I have a brayer here, you guys. Yeah. Shocking. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other smaller artichoke. Once you're done with that, you're gonna mist this with water. In my case, I didn't have a spray bottle, so I just kind of dabbed it with some water. Once you have that all wet, you're gonna dry it with a hair dryer or a heat gun. You can tell when it's dry because the image becomes very faded and you'll see that paper turning white. So after this is completely dry, you let it sit for two minutes, you wet it back down, and then the paper comes off really easy. But I have to tell you, I don't think I had enough paint because when I lifted it up, it just was not what I expected. Well, take a look, you guys. So I wetted it down so that the paper would come off easy. And then look at the side of this artichoke. I wasn't happy with that. And the other side was even worse. 
because you're able to use these paint inlays multiple times, I told Jenny, you know what, let's just redo this. So that's what we did. Only this time, I made sure there was enough paint there. And yes, we had to repaint it in order to redo this. So here we were, round two. We had wetted it down and now we were ready to peel it back. Wish me luck. All right, all right, so far so good. So satisfying. Go ahead, Janet, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, that's so pretty. Finally, success. Is that cool? That's gorgeous. So I held my breath with the other side, and when I went to remove it, I noticed it still had a little bit of an issue on the side, but you know what? It was fine. I can live with it. Now the hardware definitely needed to be painted, so I used DIY Little Black Dress. Now I want the hardware to appear rusty, so we're going to use this cinnamon. While the paint is wet, you're going to sprinkle it on. This is a trick we used to use in doll making. You can either brush off the excess or take a blow dryer and blow it off. I finished with this Folk Art Home Decor Wax. It's a liquid, but truly you could use any kind of wax or a polyurethane. I applied some dark wax on the rest of the box to give it a more aged and distressed look. And then Jenny finished it with a hang tag. And then we're just going to tie it to this Oh, I love that. Yep, yeah, have it hang down like that. Yeah. That looks really right good. there. Yeah, that looks really good. Is that nice. the, right that's here. where I want it? There you go. I'll okay. hold it right there and then you hold tie. it. Hold it. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys, it is finally finished. And although we ran into a couple problems, I still think it came out really nice. Heck, Jenny said she wants it for her gardening tools. And after looking at this again, I can see why. It definitely has that garden vibe. Now, on to our last project the strawberries. These are so stinking cute, you're gonna love them. You know, the ones we're gonna make out of Timmy's pants. They look like something my cousins wear, wore to my parents' wedding in 1974. I know, I, I these look like 70 pants. With a big old bow tie, <laughs> Timmy. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Timmy, I wanna see the pictures. <laughs> Billy, come on, give it up, give it up. You saw that photo, didn't you? She was right on the money. Okay, these really aren't Timmy's, but they could be. So I basically drew out a triangle. That's all you have to do is draw out a triangle and cut a few of these pieces. And you want to have them in a couple different coordinated fabrics. All right. All right, you guys. So I only do like um, just a straight stitch, and that's all you really need to know to make these. Start right here. You're gonna hold the little ends, go a few steps, back it up to lock it in, and we're gonna do a straight stitch all the way down. You're gonna stop at the end, turn it, go back down. Lock it in again, boom, done. All right, we're gonna do that with the, the pants. Let's see, is there Right side, wrong, no, no right side, wrong side. Some fabrics, they have like an inside that is the wrong side. And you kinda wanna usually use that because you're gonna turn it inside out and then it'll be the right side. All right, you guys, now that we have sewn all these up, I wanna teach you a little trick. When you want to get a nice sharp point, in order to do that, you need to trim right up to that point. That cuts off the excess there and you're able to make a nice sharp point. So I'm going to show you on this one here. See how our point's right here? You're going to cut right up to it. Voila. Now that I snipped all the ends off, Jenny and I are going to turn these. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of flip them inside out. You can either use your scissors or if you have like a skewer, you can, you know, do that to poke the point out. 
After turning these all inside out, you're going to take either the end of the scissors or a dowel rod and just kind of poke out that point. Now we're ready to stuff them. You're going to take a little bit of fiber fill and stuff that down into the point and just keep on working your way up until you get to the top. I mean, come on, you guys, look at the strawberry already. How can you not? Wow, you fast at stuffing. I'm not messing around. No. <laughs> I'm good at, I'm good at <laughs> stuffing my face too. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna do is we are gonna hand gather these. So you're just gonna, oh sorry. So you're just gonna go in and out, in and out, and then you're gonna tie them off. And then we're gonna top them with a little greenery. I think you got these needles because we're blind. You know what? They actually work pretty darn good, don't they? <laughs> You're like, I'll definitely be able to thread that bad boy. We have this embroidery thread and we are going to, you know how they have little seeds? We are going to do little French knots. So we're going to pull this through. Oh, I guess I pulled all the little, way. No, 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 all the way. Leave a little inside, I guess, uh, to get started. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tie this in a knot. All right, once you tie that in a knot, all right, follow me. See how it's in a knot? Now, if you feel like it's too little of a, a knot, you can always go back in and do one more. Now, I think this is fine, so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna come out somewhere else and I'm gonna do another little French knot. So all you're doing is you're literally oh. making a knot and then you're going back in somewhere else. Like you go back in and then you're gonna come out somewhere else. See? So I'm, I'm gonna get a close up of this so you guys can see that. I have my thread. I'm gonna go around like I'm making a knot, which I am. And then I put my thumb on it and I just kind of slide it down and then once it makes that knot, I go back in with my needle and then I come out another way. Now don't pull too tight because you don't want your knot you to go to inside. Gen. There you go. Boom. So I'm going to do it one more time. It's French. <laughs> it's a French knot. Yep. You're going to go Ooh, around. Man. I put my thumb there to kind of guide it. And then I go back in and out another way. Boom. And we're just gonna put a few on these, you know, because that's what strawberries have. Those little cool. knobbies. So cool. All right. Once you're all finished with making your strawberries, you need the little green tops. So we're gonna make that right now. All right, now we are gonna take this green fabric and I'm just gonna cut like some leaves to go around it. Sort of like little spiky light leaves. I mean, it almost looks like a star. It does, I was thinking it. Well, four point star. <laughs> and we are gonna glue this on the top here. You're gonna wanna cover We'll just glue it on top and then we'll take a little piece and just kind of roll it for the stem. Like this and we will glue it. Cute. And we'll put that right on top of that little piece. So cute. So yeah, just do like a little star. You can do a five point, four point, whatever you want to do. Enough to cover the top of your strawberry. All right, you guys. So Jenny cut all these wild looking stars out and then she went like this with the strawberry and it kind of looks really cool. Just yeah, saying. I like that, Jenny. You don't have to tell me I'm a big deal, but. <laughs> I like it, I like I'm it a lot. I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna glue that to the top. Well, let's see how that one looks.
You don't need, we won't even have to glue down the sides because it kind of looks good like that. It looks realistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that, Jenny. Thank you. So you guys, it's up to you whether you want to glue your, your sides down or you keep them up. It's up to you. But one thing we are going to do is make our stem. We're going to roll it. You want to make it nice and tight. All right. All right, so now that I have this on there, we are going to glue our stem. So I'm just going to put a little glue one in here. And we're going to put that directly in the middle. Cute. Like so cute. You, how cute is that? Really? Super cute. It's soup's cute. And you're going to do that to all your strawberries until you have them finished. And then we're going to put them in a pint basket. Jenny's already painted one up to give it an aged look, but we need to make it look a little more dirtier. Let's get dirty. So Jenny did such a nice job with the basket, but you know, I want her to a little bit more dirty. So I'm going to use some of this dark wax. It just doesn't look weathered enough, guys. Add it on there. Gosh. I feel like the wood that they use to make those things is like one grade above cardstock. <laughs> it really is. After I was done with that, Jenny took a little moss and arranged the strawberries in the pint basket. But I'm going to just kind of finesse out just a little bit, I think. Yeah. yeah. Just to kind of fluff it up. Very. Oh, look how nice that looks. Guys. Wow. And then I'm going to kind of do the more muted colors first here, I think. And then pop them red ones right on top oh you guys how sweet is that is that precious or what who's go. who wants a strawberry you guys want a strawberry so cute thank you jenny thank you cal and you guys that is the last project look how stinking cute these are i mean they're just so adorable well you guys i hope you enjoyed the projects I think there's some really great projects, especially, oh look at this angel. She is stunning. People are gonna be fighting over her. I believe it, I believe it. <laughs> and then it. I love this box with the artichokes. I Such a great it. box. I love Jenny it. Jenny wants to take it home. I know, I know. And then the strawberries, you guys, like how stinking cute are these, you know? And so quick. And so then the, the beehive, when she added that bee, this was like, wow, you know? It took it to the next level. It totally did, yeah. And those weren't hard at all. Oh, <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> she, yeah, to the next level. To the next level. You did fabulous today. Thank I, you. I was a good that. man. Oh, you were awesome. Yeah, so much fun. These projects are amazing. I know. Blew me away. I know. So, um, thank you, you guys, for watching. We love you guys, and until next time. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.